What's going on everybody? Welcome to uh, another episode here on North Country Ham. Today I wanted to show you my new little portable go box that I set up using the Yaesu FTM 300. So let's stick around. everybody I wanted to show you real quick on this uh, FTM 300 DR that I got from Yesu for uh, a go box that I made so that way I could take it whichever vehicle I want to go in um, you know if I'm going to a location for the Aries racy stuff I can set up a portable station using it and uh, I hoped it was gonna be pretty versatile for me so I want to show you a little bit of um, how I did it what uh, what I used um, what programming I've used in it and uh, to start with let's go to that I'll show you that all right you can see here on the Yesu website for the 300 um, what I did is I went right to the files it's free software and I went down to the uh, where did it go the uh, right here the FTM 300 DR DE programming software by EDMS 12 um, I, you basically download it and go through the setup on it and you can easily program the radio from there now one thing I did learn you have to use the data cable that um, with the 10 pin in that plugs into the back of the radio for any programming the only time that you use that port in the front of the console is for using firmware update stuff so um, let's uh, switch over here I'll show you a little preview here of what I've got um, as far as the software let me see here okay so when you open up there's a blank page and you basically go through and you fill out everything you know how you've got it and I got a master copy printed out that I use on all my radios but with this one I set it up for the two meter call and the uh, Aries Racy's channels that we use on Simplex and then um, obviously the APRS frequency for calling and then the 70 meter call and then I went into all my local repeaters and stuff and some of which we use for the Aries Racy's but I went in punched in all the offsets set everything up saved it plugged in the radio to it and uh, pretty much told it to connect and and put in now I did use a SD card 32 gigabyte that micro SD that's in the radio and then through the menus on the radio you just go into the SD card tell it the format write it does a quick format it's real simple with this radio so um, I may do a, something a little later on showing the programming of it so with that go to my uh, overhead shot here and adjust all right get this uh, minimized closed out here so as you can see kind of adjust picked up the uh, little uh, ammo box go box if you want to call it from Harbor Freight it's the larger one that they've got it uh, you know I still got the sticker on there I should take it off but essentially um, what I did is I made it so the tray actually holds the radio and everything and then I'm using heavy-duty velcro like 12 pound velcro that I've got stuck to the lid I've got an external speaker with it too um, turn this here you can see I just did a bulkhead through 239 
for antennas to hook up whatever antenna I want. Now what I did is you can see I've got little slits cut into this lid here for like this one I'm using for the monitor cable for the little um, remote head this one for the external speaker and this one to hold the microphone so that way I can set this between my front seat and the console of my truck or vehicle I'm at and I can still see everything and utilize the radio and he's obviously easily carry it wherever I'm going now what to do it pull it through on the lid I cut portions of the lid out now let me get this up see if we can adjust this so you can see it a little better you can see the radio here a little bit but I cut the portion of the lid here and over here to pull the speaker up and through and I made a little slit here in the plastic for the remote head um, stand to slide through and hold it in place so let me get this opened up so you can see it's all contained in the case here um, I've got you know the Velc heavy duty velcro strip holding the radio head to the side of the tray the external speaker and the microphone with the clip and I've also got the data cable here just coiled around to hook to the computer if I'm out portable um, now as far as you know I've got a voltage meter with full display in here all set and I'll show pictures of it to see it a little better I've got Anderson power pole hookups here and then of course the remote radio head and I I got this through RNL um, best price I found online at the time and it came with the free external speaker and this speakers actually got some pretty good volume to it playing around with it so you can see it's all self-contained there and it's a kind of a mess underneath here but lift it up and out you can see I've got the six amp hour battery Miati battery that I put in here and that's velcroed in also and the whole radio is actually the body of the radio with the frame that it comes with is heavy duty velcroed down in the base too and I tried to leave enough slack so I can easily move the cables in and out as I move the radio head and stuff around so let me pop up some pictures here for you So here's the first picture showing everything mounted on top. You see the, you know, so when you set it in by your seat, you still see, read the display and everything's held down by the um, heavy duty Velcro. Seems to be fairly uh, sturdy so far. The uh, next picture I got just shows it powered up in the tray here. So you can see um, the power display and the power poles and stuff there. And then I, the other picture that I did was just uh, showing more of a top-down view of everything on powered up so that way you could actually use it just like this with just flipping the lid open wherever you're at or you can set it up on top of the radio it's a little bit of a I'm still trying to get a little smoother with moving the radio in and out but try to give myself some room here Essentially, I can pop the microphone off and I'll slide that through and out of the way. Pop the radio head off and up through. Okay, move this out of the way a little bit. And then the speaker I can too as well. So what I can do, oh, get a little bit of noise there. The Velcro sticks it down. Pull the mic out a little better. There we go. So then the radio will just kind of come up, slide, and then that slides in right there like that. So there we go. 
and then I click this down and now I'm up and out and operational that way I thought that was going to be a pretty neat little thing and with a laptop along with you even if you're out with your Aries Racies you're all set to uh, to operate digital even with a small computer using the digital cable so I thought this was going to be a pretty neat thing to, to do and utilize for uh, portable operations so. right, well I hope that uh, seemed pretty interesting to you I had fun doing the project and setting it all up and uh, still uh, I've been playing around with it in the field a little bit but continue to do so and and make it a little better and want to try to clean up the wiring underneath a little more neaten it up some as I can but uh, I hope you enjoyed I appreciate you watching get on the air seven three